have you here. It's going to be a great show, and I'm so excited to have you all here today. We are talking poop. Yes, we are. If you've not seen the infamous poop platter, we are talking poop and how to maintain a healthy weight. If you're struggling with weight loss, we're going to talk about how your poop is very much related to weight loss. Did you know that you could be holding up to 20 pounds of old fecal matter in your gut and that can be slowing down your metabolism and of course adding to that weight that you're seeing on the scale. I'm so happy to have you all here today. Thank you for all the new followers and for sharing today's live. We do this every Tuesday at this time. However, I've got you know a sneak peek of what's happening next week. It's gonna be a little bit different. We're going prime time, so this is so exciting. So please say hello if you're here for the first time. I'd love to see those hearts coming in as well as where are you from? Please put it in the comments. So great to have you all here today. And this is so much fun. We do different topics every week, of course. And this is all about digestion and weight loss and pooping today. And I've got some scary things in the vitamin industry I'll be sharing as well. Now, what does your poop say about your health? So I know a lot of people do struggle. This is something that I got a story for. When I used to talk to my patients about poop, some of them were like, oh, it's, you know, usually the moms were okay with this. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about because you look at the diaper all the time, you know what's going on with the poop, and the poop tells us a lot about our health, but as adults as well. So talking to my patients, when I asked women about their poop, no problem. They give me the information straight up. You can probably relate. But when I talk to my male patients about poop, oh my God, they got so shy and, you know, didn't want to talk about it. And this is something that we have to be talking about this. If you've seen me on different social platforms before, you know that I have no shame in talking about poop. And I want you to be healthier and that's why we're here today. So thank you for tuning in today. It's so great to see you. And who do I have here from Bermuda Mom Life Social? Hello. I see you. Chantel Danielle, thank you from Oklahoma. We've got Sacramento. Susan is in the house from Canada. Cambridge UK, hello, nice to see you, Flangepan Zero. Thank you for, oh, and Jenny from Iceland, hello, Heidi from California. Stig from Denmark, nice to see you. Please continue to comment if I didn't call you out yet. I'm doing my best. Please say hello and let us know where you're from. We do save all the comments after the show, so I do take a peek after, and I love to see who's here. Morgan, hello, is here as well, and Baby Gravy is here as well. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. It's going to be a great show. Okay, so we will be talking about some yoga exercises for better digestion in just a second, but let's go through the different types of poop really quick, okay? So let's pay attention to this. And don't forget, we do have our quiz section coming up, which we do every show this week. We're playing for the VitaTree Vitamucil. So if you're new to the show, we have a few quiz questions every show. We have multiple prizes. This week, we're playing for this. And I'm going to call out our winners from last week in a few moments. So don't go anywhere for that. But this is what we're playing for. And this is from our great sponsors at VitaTree. They make this show possible in the first place. We thank them for allowing me to talk and share all the good news about health. Okay, so let's go through our different poops and I want you to pay attention to this because you may be suffering and you maybe have difficulty losing weight maybe you have difficulty gaining weight and that's a problem as well but let's talk about the different types of poop and what we're looking for in terms of a healthy poop okay so let's talk really quickly about the meatball poop so this is what I call the meatball poop this is not on the Bristol stool chart this is the one that I created because this is very common for people and this means constipation. So if you've got this kind of poop sitting in your gut, it's sitting there for too long, constipation. Now let's go to this type. So even a worse type of constipation is the rabbit pellet type of poop. Again, this is sitting in the intestines for too long. It could be lack of fiber, it could be lack of hydration, lack of essential fatty acids. Your poop is sitting there, it's not moving through. This could be a big problem. Now let's go to the big one, this is what we call sort of like the elephant type of poop. This is a super huge poop. And by the way, the kids helped me make these during our lockdowns. We had, you know, time on our hands and we had friends come over. And what did we do? We were making poop. So, yeah, so the kids helped me with this. And it's always near and dear to my heart because I always think of them. But, yeah, we had a lot of laughs about this one. So imagine you're having, and this is constipation as well. This is sitting way too long, very difficult to pass. This may cause you hemorrhoids when this is passing through difficult poop. That could be lack of fiber again, lack of essential fatty acids, lack of hydration if you've got that type of poop happening. Okay, so this type 
So sometimes we call this sort of the corn on the cob type of poop. This would be an acceptable poop, not so bad, as well as the newest addition. So my youngest son, who is now 10, whoops, I'm almost losing the poop off the tray. Please put a heart in the comments if you're loving this. Okay, so this is really realistic. I know, like how many people, please put the poop emoji. If you're seeing this, and you're like, yeah, he did a good job on this one. Yeah, this is an acceptable poop, very realistic, I would say. Now, the Bristol stool chart and, you know, a lot of doctors, GI specialists, they'll always say that the S-shaped poop is the best. This is the gold standard. We call this the Superman poop. That is the gold standard type of poop, and it's great if it forms an S as it is leaving your body and going into the toilet. Sorry to be so graphic, but this is what I do. Okay, this is all in the name of education. The oatmeal, so if you have a lighter poop, that is floating. That could be an indication of liver and gallbladder issues, so that not the healthiest. You always want a dark, sinking poop. That is what is best for your health. And if you have what I call the meatball poop, that could, again, be compromised gallbladder function. It could also be that it's floating so you're not digesting your fats, and it's lighter in color so your bile secretion, your liver function could be Compromise, so this is something to look at. And when I give tips about liver, when I give tips about gallbladder health and detoxification, which I'm all about, this is so important that we're getting and moving towards having those healthier poops. So remember the S-shaped or this log one is a good type of poop. Okay, so we're gonna get to weight loss tips. In just a second, we are talking poop. So if you don't have the normal poop, you could be holding on to that excess weight. You could have up to 20 pounds of old fecal matter sitting in your digestive tract, which a lot of people don't realize. And when you start detoxing, you start getting things moving, this is when you start to see improvement, not only in your weight, but you're gonna see it in your poops as well. So that's really important. So I have more weight loss tips coming. Don't go anywhere. Please say hello. I see a ton of poop emojis. Hagrid 1206. I love those poop emojis. I think you put like 25 in there. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for tuning in. Thank it for everybody, all my new followers as well. It's so great to have you here. We hit some milestones in different platforms in the last couple of weeks. Super exciting. Okay, I got to go over here. So let's talk about some of these scary ingredients in your vitamins. This is something that I talk on television a lot about educating people about why it's so important to know what is in your supplements. And one of those things to look for is a flow agent. It's called magnesium stearate and they use it in the industry. Why? Because it helps to speed up production times and can cause issues with digestion, can cause you to become sensitive to this. And this is something that you could be reacting to. So something that I want you to check after today's show, you're going to check all your vitamin bottles, make sure it does not have magnesium stearate, can even cause heart palpitations for some people. Here's another one that can cause constipation. So remember those big poops, that super elephant poop or the meatball poops. This could be because it's in your supplements, microcrystalline cellulose, which is a type of fiber. It's basically wood chips that they powder down. You can see it's a white powder. And what they do in the industry, unfortunately, and what I educate people about is that what is in your vitamin capsule, so imagine this is your vitamin and you're taking your vitamin, all of those vitamins, supplements, herbal medicines, that's what should fill up your capsule. But unfortunately, what they do in the industry is they're using fillers like this up to 85, 95% filler can just be filling up that capsule that you're taking and that can be causing your digestive problems. So I want you to look for that microcrystalline cellulose and make sure when you are taking vitamins that it's pure vitamins. It doesn't have those fillers in it, really important. And the last one that I'll talk about is silicon dioxide. So you know those little packets that you get and it says do not eat, it's a desiccant that you get you know, sometimes in a new pair of shoes, if you're purchasing other items, it could be in there. Well, that little desiccant package is silicon dioxide. They powder it down, and guess what? They put it in vitamins. And so this is something, again, I want you to be aware of this. This is not something I believe that we should be ingesting. It's something that is super scary. Coming back to the magnesium stearate really quickly, so the material data safety sheet, so the chemical data sheet on magnesium stearate, is very similar to this household product. So, I mean, technically I should be wearing gloves when I handle this, I should have a mask on, I'm, I'm done with the masks, I don't know about you, but yeah, and, and that's in your vitamins? I mean, come on, we have to be, I think, you know, a little bit more 
let's say, educated about these things and please put a one in the comments as if this is the first time that you're hearing this information. I want to see who is learning something today for the first time and put a two in the comments if you know all about this and you have made and done your best to get this kind of stuff out of your vitamins. Okay. We are going to talk about some yoga poses that's going to help you to get your poops going. So I know you're going to want to stick around for that, which is amazing. And I've got some tips for healthy poops as well. So this is something that is really great to be able to help you with your pooping schedule. Remember, we're going to come back and we have quiz questions coming up as well. So remember that this is a very interactive show and we do have prizes. We send out prizes. I'm going to call out last week's winners as well. So congratulations to you. So you want to stick around for that. Okay, so let's now talk about tips for healthy poops. And these are, you know, the yoga poses that you can do at home every day, especially have, if you're having difficulty with having those healthy poops. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to demonstrate all these. So I just want to write them down for you so that you can screenshot the list of what they are so that you'll remember it and then you can refer back to it because I will demonstrate. I'm going to get down on the floor and do some yoga for you today. Yes, and you can join me because it is, like I said, I can't see you, but you can see me. It is very interactive. Okay, number one, twisting postures are fantastic for getting those bowels moving. So we're gonna do a twist and I'm gonna show you how to do that down on the ground in just a second. Okay, the other one that I love is called knees to chest. And that is another great posture for helping to squeeze things out through the intestines to get, really get things moving in a great way can help you to lose weight. Just doing these postures can help you to lose weight. Okay, and number three is called happy baby. So please put a one in the comments if you know what happy baby is. The yoga posture, we all love to have happy babies. But, and I've, you know, had a few of those. <laughs> so, but please put a one in the comments. You know what happy baby is, and this is something that, yes, I see that. Okay, I see some ones coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now, are we going down to the floor? Yes, we are. We're going down. Let's go down, and I'm going to show you how to do these. Okay, so first, let's start with the twist. Okay, so the twist, and what you ideally are doing is you're going to the right side first. You'll notice if you practice yoga that typically things are done in a sequence. And by going to the right side first, you're squeezing the poop out of the certain part of your digestive tract in a particular way on the, on the ascending side of your colon first. And then you're going to twist your legs to your left side and your body to the right side. As I demonstrate, I will show you. And there's a there's method in doing this properly. Okay, can everybody still hear me? Because sometimes, yes, okay, I hope so. Okay, so for a twist, you're gonna put your hands out to the side and you are putting your legs first to the right side and then you face the opposite direction. So you're facing to the left side. And then you're gonna stay there for a little period of time. I'm gonna speed it up just because we are on the live show right now. And then you would switch to the other side and by allowing, and then look to the other side, by allowing that and your spine to align and just relax everything down, you're actually doing that squeezing, which is helping to squeeze and move those poops through the intestines. Amazing, right? Okay, good. I wanna see lots of hearts coming in. Okay. Now the next one is called knees to chest. So basically what you're doing is you're exactly doing that is bringing your knees to your chest. Again, helping a lot of people. I've got a funny story here. So when my mom, and I lost my mom, for those of you who don't know the story, I lost my mom. She died of cancer years ago and that's how I got into natural medicine in the first place. But she told me a story when I was a little girl, she went to yoga and she was doing yoga, I mean, way back then, which is amazing, when it wasn't as popular as what it is now. And she, she went to yoga class and she said that one of the participants in the class, they got into this posture and passed wind very loudly. <laughs> So she said the whole class was like silent. Some people were kind of snickering and laughing because that's exactly what this type of posture does is it moves things through. And if you've got gas, if you've got a, got a lot of gas and bloating happening, this is, may help to relieve that gas. So basically it's knees to chest. And the last one, my favorite, this is one of the things that I love to do at the end of yoga class. It's really great for the low back. If you have any type of low back issues, it's called happy baby. So basically you are in, 
yeah, I don't have my yoga stuff on, obviously. I have like full clothes on. But basically, you're opening up your legs wide and you're grabbing the bottoms of your feet, but the bottoms of your feet are facing the ceiling. And then you just pull your legs down and just relax. You can actually rock side to side, which if you have low back issues, that's great for that. But this too can allow for the release of some wind if you've got that going. And I hope that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna go to quiz questions in just a second. So please get ready for that. I hope everybody's ready for quiz question number one. I hope everybody was paying attention. And here it is. Okay, so what poop? I need the poopy. I need the poopy. Can we show the poopy in the camera? The meatball poop. <laughs> oh no, did I just let it out? I just let it out. Oh my goodness. What does this poop mean? What is this poop, everyone? And what does it mean? Okay, you got 30 seconds. Here we go. What does it mean if you've got this kind of poop? Okay, everybody get your answers in now. Going now. Remember, we're playing for a prize. Got 30 seconds starting now. Go. Can I show you that? Okay, is everybody getting their answers in? I know. Uh, DJ Larry was paying attention. I'm throwing poop all over the studio. There might be more of that to come in just a few minutes. I hope you are getting in your answers. Are we ready? Okay. Did everybody get their answers in? Okay, that was the meatball poop. Yes, good job everyone. And it means constipation. So if you have that type of poop, constipation is what we're talking about. Okay, so I want to congratulate now last week's winner. So remember we're playing every week for a prize. So you still have a couple more opportunities today to play. But this was last week's winner was Ricky Fan, and you were the winner of the Vita Tree Turmeric Curcumin, and Best Indie Homes won the Dr. Jane and Mug. So congratulations! It's so great that you participated, and everybody who's here today, you still have a couple more chances to win a prize. Okay, now we're going to talk about a loss hack, and this is something that you can do at home and it's so super easy, you're not even gonna believe it. It helps with your leptin signaling, your leptin resistance, which is something I talk a lot about on social media. I will be coming back to some benefits of cinnamon for weight loss, so we're gonna talk about that in just a few moments. But I want you to know about this hack, and basically it's the use of ice packs on your body, and this is gonna have an effect on your leptin receptors and helps to balance your hormones, which is great. So the first place that you're gonna use that ice pack is on the abdomen. So especially if you have an area on the tummy that has a little bit more extra fat, this is doing and putting that ice pack. So I like to do this in the evenings when I'm watching TV or whatever, my movies, put the ice pack on. You can tuck it in you know, your yoga pants or whatever it is and keep that ice pack on there for 20 minutes. This will help with that leptin signaling, helps with the leptin resistance, helps to turn off the hunger at nighttime too. It's amazing when you start doing this every day, okay? And helps with that weight loss. Again, you've heard about the fat freezing that people do, well, use ice packs. You can do it at home, it doesn't cost you any money, okay? The next spot that you can do this is on the back. So on the back, in your acupuncture meridians, there's something called governing vessel number four, and it's right here. So putting the ice back on the low back is something that will cool the entire body. So whenever you have an impact on that point, it cools your entire body and that will help to speed up that leptin signaling and that leptin resistance. And the last one is on the top of the back of the neck. So the brown fat that I often talk about, which is your thermogenically active, this is the fat that you have that you want more of, especially in a cold winter climate. That putting that ice pack there is where that brown fat accumulates and this helps to build and burn off those calories more quickly. So that's something that you want to do. So those are the three spots. I want you to screenshot that really quickly. That is what you can do with your ice pack so that you remember. So, and you can leave it on there for about 20 minutes. If you do have questions about this, please put it in the comments now. I'm going to try to get to those questions today and answer them. So please, put them in. Thank you for everybody's here today. It's so great to have you all here. And I love the fact that we have so many new followers. So thank you for tuning in. Please share this with your friends as well. It's fun. We do this every week. We have the live show. And of course, I'm sure you've seen a lot of my content on social media. I like to talk about natural things that you have not, you know, usually seen before. Now we're going to talk about seven tips, how to have a healthy poop. 
I'm going to do some beauty in the beauty set in a few moments, but stay tuned for that. We're going to do some face taping today and some suction. So moving the lymphatics, which is great, especially if you have and, you know, hold on to extra weight here and fluidity here and things, you know, are not draining properly. We're going to move your lymph today. And again, this is interactive, so we're going to do it together. Okay, here's seven tips how to have a healthy poop. So tip number one, eat a good breakfast. This stimulates your circadian rhythms, really important for your gallbladder health. You've got to have that good big breakfast. That's why intermittent fasting in the morning, not the best thing, especially if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to have healthy bowel movements, you got to eat a good breakfast. Typically higher in protein and healthy fats. Okay, number two, you're going to incorporate more probiotic foods into your diet. Number three, natural sunlight exposure, especially first thing in the morning, very, very important to set up your circadian rhythms. You're going to do that every morning. Even if you can't see the sun where you live, the sun is out, natural light in the morning. Number four, go, and I mean go like poop. You know what I'm talking about? Poop? I want to see some poop emojis. If I want to make sure everybody's paying attention here, okay? Put some poop emojis in the comments. Go when you get the urge. When you need to go, you got to go because you don't get that second chance sometimes in a day with your circadian rhythms. As soon as you get that urge to go poop, you got to poop. Don't hold it in, okay? That's it should be simple. Number five, you have to raise your feet up on the toilet. So if you don't have a little stool, if you have difficulty with constipation or irregular bowel movements, Put your feet up on a little stool when you're pooping. You can also just go on your tippy toes and that position will release that sphincter to allow for the poop to evacuate more readily. Okay, so raise your feet. Number six, do the yoga postures that we talked about. So that's really important. What I shared earlier in the show, remember this is going to live on YouTube so you can refer back to if you're just tuning in now and you miss the yoga postures to help to get the poops going for weight loss, you can refer back to that. And number seven, increase your fiber. So things like psyllium seed husk is something that I love. Again, you can be holding up to 20 pounds of poop in your digestive tract, not knowing it. That's what's making you perhaps have those unhealthy bowel movements as well. Okay, let's share our viewer spotlight. So this is something that we do every week. And I want to call out Callie. So Callie shared, I just found your page. It's phenomenal. Thank you for all of the amazing content. Thank you so much, Callie. Every week we call out a new viewer spotlight. So please continue to put all of your great comments in the different platforms. I truly appreciate it. And the whole team here at the Dr. Janine Show, we'd love to see your comments. So thank you so much for all the great feedback. It's so great to be building a community of people that are like-minded and of course, sharing good health information. You guys learn from me, but I learn from you as well, which I love in your commenting, giving comments, suggestions, which are always positive. And and I love it. Okay, I see a lot of poops came in. Poop emojis. Reina is here. Don Sol, thank you. Extreme Cooking, thank you. Diva Organic, Berg Sandy. I see those poops. Lisa Drail, thank you for tuning in today. That is amazing. Okay, so we are at quiz question number two. Is everybody ready? Remember, we're pay playing for a prize from our great sponsors at VitaTree. We're playing for the Vitamucil, which is a psyllium seed husk. It's a fiber, one of the things we talked about. Okay, so this is what you're playing for. Everybody get ready to type really quick. I'm going to try to catch the first answers that come through. Are we ready? Quiz question number two. Where do you put ice packs to burn fat and fix leptin resistance? Where do you put those ice packs? Remember, we just covered this. If you're just tuning in, just, just take a guess, okay? Got 30 seconds starting now. Go. Maria, nice to see you. Thanks for tuning in today. Aha, I see some fast answers coming in. Andy, that was quick. Anybody else? Who's here? Very good. Yes, Dolan. I see the first part of your name. Is it Lisa Dolan? I'm not sure. All right, good job, everyone. Okay, so the answer is, could be on the abdomen, on the back, especially the low back, and at the top of the back. Great for that weight loss and for fixing your leptin resistance. Okay, now let's talk about cinnamon and some of the benefits of cinnamon that you haven't heard. So I'm sure a lot of people know that cinnamon and using cinnamon liberally in your life is great for balancing your blood glucose levels. But it's interesting to know that in this study, which was a meta-analysis, they found that cinnamon helped to reduce the BMI, body weight, and waist-to-hip ratio. So that is 
really important. So not just for balancing blood glucose levels, but actually helps with losing weight. So yes, but I'm going to talk. There's a caveat to cinnamon. We're going to get to that in just a second. So we have to be a little bit careful. Now, another study showed that the oral cinnamon helped with PCOS and really reduced the LDL cholesterol, total cholesterol. And that's really important in terms of balancing cholesterol levels when we're talking about overall health and keeping our cardiovascular system healthy. But for weight loss as well, cholesterol is important because it's the precursor to all of our hormones and has to do with our leptin signaling as well. So that is really important. Now the caveat to the cinnamon, unfortunately, is that the most common type, which is the cassia cinnamon, can have higher amounts of coumarin, which is a liver toxin. So you can't have too much cinnamon. You don't, you know, just over overdose on cinnamon, your typical daily dosage should be about 1,000 milligrams, which is a half a teaspoon. That's sort of the upper limit of what you would have yourself every day. So just don't overdo it with the cinnamon and make sure that it's organic because studies have now been coming out. I don't know if you've heard about it in the news in the last couple of weeks about spices being heavily toxic with heavy metals. So things like lead and cinnamon can have some lead toxicity. So always buy organic. My spices, I, I always buy in a glass bottle from the health food store and they are, yeah, a little bit more expensive, yes, granted, but I know that it's not gonna have those heavy metal toxins. So, and that's something that, you know, you have to invest in your health, right? At the end of the day, it's your body, but always in moderation with the cinnamon, okay? Not more than a half a teaspoon a day. Okay, if this is new information for you, please, Put it in the comments. Put a one in the comments if that's the first time that you heard that about cinnamon. I know that you've heard about the blood sugar, but did you know about the weight loss and the PCOS as well? Put a one in the comments. I want to see who's paying attention here. We have another quiz question coming up. And I hope you're paying attention to that one. Okay, Pam Salomo, yes, good job. All right, so here is quiz question number three, our final quiz question for today. We've got a lot more stuff coming up though, so don't go anywhere. This is so much fun, and I hope that you are loving this show. Thank you for sharing, and thanks for all of my new followers as well. Okay, quiz question number three. Are we ready? Besides balancing blood sugar, give another benefit of cinnamon. Is everybody seeing this? Besides balancing blood sugar, give another benefit of cinnamon. Okay, you got 30 seconds, start now. Did everybody get their answers in? Oh, Kim, it's okay. Even if you're late, it's all right. Besides balancing blood sugar, the answer is it helps to balance cholesterol levels, helps polycystic ovaries, helps with weight loss, waist circumference, gets rid of some of that belly fat. So cinnamon is great. Just again, not more than a half a teaspoon per day per person as an adult. Okay, we're in the beauty set. Everybody who loves the beauty section of the show, please put a heart in the comments right now. I know that a lot of you wait for this section of the show. As I've seen in the comments, I know that you love when we do the beauty stuff, but if it's not your thing, don't go anywhere. We still have some fun things coming up. I'm gonna be doing some Q&A today, which is a little bit different, and answering some of your questions. Okay, so thank you for all those answers. And I see, Ashley, you got that heart in really quick, little mama too. Thank you for putting that in there. That is awesome. Okay, so let's do some face taping. Let's do some suction. So if you've not seen my other videos, these are little suction tools that you can actually purchase just online, and they come in different sizes. And what they do is they help to move the lymph. So for weight, and when you're trying to lose weight, and if you're still seeing that you, know, you are a little bit heavy in this region, that could be because your lymphatics are not draining properly. And the lymph in the upper chain of the lymphs, everything drains close to the heart, but you have to release what's going on here and here and at the back of the neck to help to drain the entire face and your lymphatics. And this can really drastically reduce 
how much weight it looks like you're holding on to for your entire body as to what's going on here. Have you ever lost weight before? You lose it in the face and people think, oh my gosh, you lost so much weight because it all came off of here. Well, you can do this with lymphatic drainage as you're doing your best to get those poops moving. If you're just tuning in, we talked a lot about poop today and weight loss, but this is something that you can do on your own. Okay, so who who's loving? Yeah, everybody loves, I know, you love this stuff. Okay, with the beauty section. So all you're gonna do is, I like coconut oil because coconut oil gives a little bit of slip and slide to the skin and I'm gonna do this here just to show you on the cheek how this can really help so you're gonna create a little bit of suction by sort of squeezing this device putting it on the skin and then moving it across the cheek and then ideally you're going down because you want to drain the lymph across there's lymphatic cells here and glands here and then down. Of course, we have that big lymphatic chain down the SCM muscle. So you're gonna create that little bit of suction, go up towards the ear and then down and down and down. And that helps to drain that lymph. You do it, of course, both sides to help to drain that lymph. Okay, so I hope that that helps you. Now, the other thing, that we've done in previous shows is the face taping. So face taping is something that helps to stabilize muscles. It's great as well for helping to, you know, actually if you can, what we talked about last week, if you have actual lines that you can see, you can tape them and wake up in the morning with less lines. Okay, so how many people I wanna see, put a one in the comments if you've been doing the face taping for the last week. I know sometimes it takes a few days. This is the face tape that you just purchase online. It's a kinesiology tape. So typically you're gonna see athletes who are using this type of tape but all you do is you buy the tape you got to cut it in the right direction I've got other videos um, on my channels that show you how to do that because you want to have a little bit of the stretch is everybody seeing that so a little bit of that stretch is important and basically what you're doing so the fast way to do the necklines is you stretch your neck up and then wherever you see a line you've stretched the skin and then you apply the tape and you go on with this and you sleep with this at bedtime, wake up in the morning and this is something that's fantastic. Now let's hear, there, here's another one. Does anybody want to see more of the face taping? Please tell me. Okay, Rania, yes, you love the face taping? I love it. Uh, oh, Tara, where do we get this? This thing I just purchased online. So yeah, so just go online and, and look for, I, it, I, I believe I put in the search bar because you're wondering, okay, how would you search for this? Face suction cupping, face suction cupping. That's what you're looking for, okay? And, oh, thank you, Raina. Yes, you can watch this if, you're, if you have just tuned in now. You can watch the entire show and you won't miss anything. Okay, so in this one, this is, one is a little bit more advanced, the face taping. So what I do is I'm gonna anchor down this top part. I just basically cut a, three slits. Well, I cut two slits to give me three tabs. And this one's a little bit trickier, but I'm gonna do my best here on live to show you how to do this. And I do have a specific video on YouTube that shows you exactly how to do this technique. So basically what you're doing is you are holding up the one end, so that is your anchor. You're gonna hold that up in this area on your upper cheek area. And then each of your tabs serves a purpose. So you stretch the tab, and mine are, of course, clumping up because it's live. Yep, there we go. Each tab serves a purpose. So the top tab, you're gonna pull towards your nose and release. Then the bottom tab, the middle tab, you're gonna pull towards, if you do have nasal labial folds, you're gonna pull towards that midline and then release. And you can see how that's pulling my skin back. And then the last one helps with the jawline. So depending on where you wanna place it, you pull it and then you place it down. And then that has a lifting effect and you go to sleep with this. And then in the morning, you see how your face just looks lifted again without the need for injections or any kind of other stuff that's not natural. Okay, so I want everybody to try this. I promise I will do some more recent posts. So we'll do some new posting on how to do this triple one. I don't know what to call it. What should I call it, guys? Yeah, well, I'll call it something. Okay, it's for that triple lifting for that face and helping you to get things going. Okay, who wants to see more face taping? Anybody? Please put a thumbs up or a one in the comments. Anybody want to see more face taping or are we moving on? Okay, one more, one more. Okay, we'll do one more. Okay, so if you do have, again, this is just a strip that I cut from my face tape. If you have lines, on if you're very expressive in your forehead. So you've got some lines happening here. All you do is gently spread the line like so with one hand, apply the tape and on that line, 
not very straight, but that's okay. I'm trying my best. There we go. And then you sleep with that on your face. And then in the morning, you gently get it and peel it off. And that is something that is going to help you. Can everybody see that? Okay, how many people are, yes, I see a lot of thumbs up. How many people are gonna try the face taping? Do we wanna try another one? Yeah, we wanna keep going? Okay, so let's do another one. Here's another one that you can do is for the eye region. So if you have the crow's feet, the face taping's amazing as well. So I would probably cut a little bit smaller strip. But basically, again, you're going to stretch the skin gently and with one hand and then apply the tape. So don't worry. The first few times I tried this, like, it was a mess. And I had, like, different, like, balled up pieces of tape all over the place. You just got to practice with it. Don't get frustrated. You might use up some of your tape, but don't worry. It's, it's not very expensive. Just keep, keep trying. And so basically, you're stretching your skin if you do have the crow's feet. And then you apply the tape. This is one of my favorite ones actually to sleep on because you can really see the difference in the morning when you wake up. And always do a patch test. I want to say that because of the adhesive on the t tape. If you have, su I have super sensitive skin, and you have to be a bit careful. But you know, I've been totally fine with all of these uh, kinesiology tapes that I've tried, and I've tried multiple ones. You don't have, you can get one that's skin colored, so you don't scare your family like I <laughs> did the first time. I got like black tape, and uh, of course I do the bedtime, you know, tucking in in the evening, and we tell stories with my two youngest sons, anyways. And so the first time I came on, I wasn't thinking about it. I just came on into their bedroom with like black tape all over my face and like they're like mommy what happened and I'm like it's okay this is for my beauty it's called face tape and I'm explaining it to them but you can get you know skin colored tape if that is what's good for you okay so there you go and that is for the crow's feet you just put this on at nighttime you don't want to put too much serum on underneath and if you do you may have to wipe off the residue of your serum before you tape because you may lose some of that adhesiveness and it won't stick the way that you want it to and then of course in the morning you can cleanse again put your serums on you will love the natural effects of this okay well this is something now don't go anywhere because I'm coming back I'm going to be sitting down and actually answering some of your questions today because I know a lot of you if I haven't been able to call you out and I apologize I can't always call everybody out because there's so much activity happening but I'm going to answer some questions today and we're going to come back to that in just a second so don't go anywhere now I do want to talk about the fact that next week is a little bit different we're going prime time so we won't be here on Tuesday but we will be here next Thursday and that will be so screenshot this so that you can get this so you don't forget because I know I'm going to say it now and you're going to forget what did she say so next Thursday which is February the 2nd at 7 p.m. Second, 7 p.m. on February 7th, which is next Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be doing this show, and it's going to be a new show. We're going to be talking about leptin resistance next week. We're talking more on weight loss. We're talking about thyroid health, how to optimize your thyroid, and how to do that naturally, which is so important. And one of my goals is to always optimize your health with the knowledge that I share and, of course, doing things naturally. So this is something that I want you to be able to share with your friends, give the gift of health. This is something that is so empowering for you not only to learn about your own health, but to share this with your friends so that they can get healthier too and to be honest a lot of people are struggling right now it's a for a lot of people a dark cold nasty dreary winter and we've got to do positive things and we have to support each other and you know getting healthy and getting healthy information is what I'm all about so I'm so glad to you know be able to engage with you and to be building our wonderful community that we have in terms of natural healing and all of the tools that I've learned over the years and based on all of my extensive research and writing my books and things that I've been able to you know share a little bit of my wisdom with all of you and I love the feedback that I get from all of you so thank you for tuning in today I will answer your questions now which is going to be awesome so let's let's go over here let me take a breath for a second and get your questions ready so start typing in your questions as I'm situating myself here because yeah we're gonna take a bit of time so that I can do a little Q&A with all of you and if you do have specific questions please send an email because what we'll do in future shows, and maybe even as soon as next week for the primetime show, is we will answer your question live on the show. So we have to know your questions ahead of time. So please send an email with your questions to hello at vitatree.com. And those questions will come in. The best questions we'll be able to answer live, which is going to and could be featured on next week's show, which is amazing. Kim, Kimiel, or is, is it Kimiel? 
Um, yes, the kinesiology tape, you can buy it in the drugstore, absolutely. You can buy it online as well, which is amazing. And this is so good. Okay, Megan wants to know about cellulite. Oh, I have some great tips for that in herbal medicines. Can we put that in the notes? Maybe we'll talk about cellulite and weight loss in, the, in our primetime show. Yes, we have made a note about that. Megan, thank you for that. And how many poops a day is good? You poop four to five, sometimes more a day. Tequila gal, yes. So ideally, I say women should have two poops a day, and the guys should have three poops a day. So more than that could be an indication that there could be lack of fiber, there could be some parasitic issues. Hey, ah. Can you grab me? I'm going to show you a parasite. Don't go anywhere because that's a good question. And that could be a segue into next week as well. Thank you, Sam. Sam just passed me the parasite. Okay, so this, I talk a lot about parasites on TV. And I'm telling you, the first time that I went on TV with, the, with these pictures, people were like freaking out, especially in the studio. And they're like, uh, did she just do that? I didn't give anybody any warning. Often I don't when I'm on live TV. Harry Canada, and I just I just started pulling out the parasite pictures, and I was like, oh my god, because at the same time you're like, oh, I don't want to talk about that, I don't want to look at it, but at the same time, you're intrigued, right? And I always say, better out than in, better get these things and these critters out of your body. So yeah, there could be a parasitic issue if you're having more bowel movements than regular, and depending on the consistency. So if you're just tuning in now, we did talk about poop today, and this is something that, yeah, if you're not having the, the gold standard S-shaped dark sinker, or this would be equally you know, equivalent to a good healthy poop, then that could be a problem in terms of your overall health. Okay. Droopy eyes, okay, to do, yes, okay, so we have done some segments, but we can cover that in our primetime show next week as well, droopy eyelids, oh, absolutely, and that is something that is great because we are going to talk, I'm not going to give it away now, you have to tune in next week, best type of magnesium question is coming in, magnesium bisglycinate, bisglycinate, that means that it's bound to two glycines, glycine is a, works like a neurotransmitter, so it's an amino acid, that's really important, it helps with sleep, but you take magnesium in the morning, and this is something that a lot of people don't realize. They tell you to take it at night, which I don't agree with. You take your calcium and your vitamin K closer to bedtime for better absorption, and your magnesium in the morning to help with your nervous system and your digestion and your metabolism of your carbs, your fats, and your proteins to help with your proper beating of your heart. Magnesium MM, always remember magnesium in the morning, and bisglycinate is the favorite type. Um, I do have a bunch of posts on the best types of magnesium, so if you're just tuning in for the first time today, look at my content, just search. You can search now, Dr. Janine or Jane I Naturally, depending on which platform you're on, and just search your question, and most times you're gonna find that you can populate an answer, especially on YouTube, because we have, how many videos do we have on YouTube now? We're gonna check that, and we'll come back to you which is amazing. We have lots. Is the, I'm getting the answer. Lots. Lots. We have a lot. Okay. So Ziggy is pencil size poops. I'm going to add that to the platter. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. That means that maybe things are moving a little bit too quickly. Could be lack of fiber. Could be a parasitic issue. When you're detoxing, you can start to see some of those pencil like poops because yeah, evacuation. That could be that you're holding your poop as well and you're not always going when you're supposed to. So there's, there's different reasons. Often it could be because the mix of your microbiome, so the good versus the bad uh, gut flora, your bacteria, your probiotics versus some of the parasites and some of the less favorable bacteria and things that are in the gut um, could be taking over and that could cause the pencil stools. But I'm going to add that to my platter. It's actually, it's like you're reading my mind. <laughs> it's one of the things that I wanted to get done this week on my, on my imagine on your, on your to-do list that you have to make some poops. Yeah, that, that's my life. That's my life. That's why you're here. That's why you're tuning in. So great to have you all here. Thank you for tuning in today. Okay, I see Ahmad. Thank you for the roses and the there's a bunch of prizes coming in from Ahmad. Thank you so much. And thank you for all the hearts and all the love that you sent throughout the show, everybody who um, tuned in and is tuning in right now. So great to see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, and extreme cooking, the intestinal walls could be inflamed and swollen. So chronic inflammation is a big thing. This ties back to leptin resistance, if you don't know what that is. I've got a lot of content on that. We'll be talking about that next week in the primetime show, coming back to leptin resistance. And, okay, frown in the center. So the 11 lines, germ... CC, yes, those 11 lines is something that you can work on with the tape as well. That's something I can show in, a, in another segment. Or if Sam wants to grab me the tape, do you want to see the tape, taping the 11 lines? Yeah, 
Uh, those ones might be used up. I might actually need the roll in the drawer. Okay, Sam's, Sam's so great behind the scenes. He, yeah, he's, everybody needs a Sam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. So, Sam. Thank you. Okay, so this is the kinesiology tape. Let's do the 11 lines really quick. Who wants to see this? Please put a one in the comments. And thank you for tuning in today. Okay, so you're going to, and I wasn't paying attention which way I cut it. So when you cut it the wrong way, and this is how it's just experimentation, thank you, at the beginning. If you cut the tape the wrong way, you're not going to get the stretchiness. So it's kind of like an experiment. I think I cut it the right way. Yeah, there we go. So you see how it has stretch? So for the 11 lines, one of the fastest way is to just stretch your 11s, so like a V here, and then place the tape on top. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? And then you sleep with that on, and it's amazing. So this has actually helped. I used to have like really deep 11s um, myself, and this really helped with my 11 lines, which is amazing. Love, love, love the fact that it's all natural. Okay. Did I just, there we go. Okay. So again, if you do have questions, please send an email to hello at vitatree.com. Your question could be featured in next week's show, which remember again is prime time. We will be at 7 p.m. next Thursday. So it's a little bit different timing. It was so great to have you all here today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing today's live. If you missed anything, you're just tuning in now. Thanks for all my new followers as well. Check it out on YouTube. This entire show will be on YouTube that you can see what you missed to check out the exercises that I did and all the information that I shared about weight loss and of course your poops so great to have you all here guys we'll see you next week remember prime time see you then